Hello everyone, Zadok Squared here. Welcome to Clan Krug. Today I want to show off a Boots of the Assembler and Lumina build. For this build, we're running on Solar Warlock. You're going to want to run Healing Rift or Empowering Rift, and I'll go over the specifications on both later. I've chosen to go with Celestial Fire and Healing Grenade. Heat Rises and Icarus Dash both pair incredibly well for this. For Fragments, I'm going Ember of Benevolence. Ember of Singeing, Ember of Ashes, and Ember of Char. For the weapon, obviously you're going to want to go Lumina, and then whatever you want to run in the other two slots basically works here. Though this build does do incredibly well in boss phases, so I'm running my type in for boss damage. I'm running Well of Utility in three different pieces, as well as Seeking Wells and Reaping Well Maker. This makes it so that whenever we cast our Rift, of which we want to do a lot, it's going to create a well next time we kill an enemy and then that well will seek to us giving back more class energy this will let us use our rift as often as possible which pairs incredibly well with boots of the assembler's effect boots of the assembler make it so that whenever we're standing in a rift either healing or empowering it creates noble seekers that seek out allies that are not in a rift and it either heals or gives them a damage bonus this is the specification i was talking about earlier with your class ability you're either going to want to go Healing Rift if you want to heal your allies with this, or Empowering Rift if you want to give them a damage bonus. Normally the split is in any boss encounters like a Tanix or an Oryx encounter, you're going to want to go Empowering Rift to create the damage bonus seekers in the boss damage phase, whereas in any other situation you're most likely want to go Healing Rift just to keep your allies alive. When you're using Lumina, it does a couple of other things. First off, it provides a moderate benefit to the airborne effectiveness of Lumina. And then also, while you're running it, it'll create Lumina's noble rounds as well, allowing you to shoot off Lumina's buff that both heals and grants the damage bonus from the noble round using the gun. These two pair incredibly well together in any situation to be able to just buff up your allies and be incredibly effective to keep them alive and make them do more damage. Lumina does grant you a 35% damage buff, which is 10% higher than either Well or Bubble give you. This is incredibly good for damage phases, especially tight damage phases such as in a Day 1 Raid or Master Raid situation. Normally the way you want to use this build in a boss encounter is use it normally up until you get to damage phase, at which point you want to drop down an Empowering Rift, which will slowly give this damage bonus to all your teammates. You can still drop down your well or your bubble in order to get the overshield or healing from them to keep you alive. And just in case the damage buff from Lumina and or Boots of the Assembler does not apply on your teammates for whatever reason, it doesn't track them right or whatever, just so they have a damage buff. But as long as you drop down your rift, it should be tracking to all of your teammates and giving them this damage buff. Outside of boss encounters, you're going to want to run healing rift and then just play station on one side of the map doing the mechanics over there. And just whenever you have a chance, drop down a Rift, which will heal your allies. And once you get some stacks of Noble Rounds in your Lumina, you can shoot them to give them both bonuses at the same time. This build is incredibly effective at keeping your teammates alive, making them more effective by making them do more damage, and just being overall good in most encounters. It's an incredibly strong Warlock build that pairs well with Solar, which is an incredibly strong class for Warlock already. I really feel like this build is going to be great for the Lightfall campaign and for Day 1 Raid when that comes around. If you're a Warlock main, I would definitely recommend picking up both these exotics, playing out the build, testing it a little bit, and getting it ready for when we have some more difficult encounters come Lightfall. Anyway, that's all for today, Guardians. I've been Zadek Squared. Thanks for watching.